What humanity accomplished during the COVID pandemic was really extraordinary. Um, and thank goodness that the pandemic occurred at a time when we were able to, to respond as quickly as, as we did. Um, and I think it's an incredible example of a public-private partnership. What can we learn from that? Well, we're going to have future pandemics. Mm -hmm. We know that. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be an expert in no. One Health to know mm -hmm. the consequences of the changes in climate and mm -hmm. animal populations and uh, human travel. Mm -hmm. We're back to pre-pandemic travel rates mm -hmm. now. So um, diseases are going to spread. So um, I think we learned what can be accomplished when we have a common goal and work together. <clears throat> if you really look at the the sort of groundswell that led to the ability to make mRNA mm -hmm. vaccines and antivirals mm -hmm. and other things that have been so important. Mm -hmm. It was really a long-term public-private partnership mm -hmm. and then a big infusion of cash to yes. de-risk. And mm -hmm. I'd also say we learned that all the best science mm -hmm. in the world can be completely undercut by um, whatever it is in the combination of misinformation and culture mm -hmm that's causing now both political parties to have extremists who are frankly anti-science mm -hmm. and believe that you and we are in some kind of a conspiracy mm -hmm. together. Yep. And so it's not limited to one party, it's, mm -hmm. it's there in both mm -hmm. parties and we have to figure out what to do about mm -hmm. this.